Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 17 of OmniFactory. My name is Zidisas, and we are here at our base. Uh, so yesterday, uh, in, in our episode, we, we worked on making a couple things. We did, we did fluid storage, which we have a good amount of hydrogen and oxygen stored digitally now. And we also made our first tier three circuit, which I think is just in our, uh, yeah, it's just living in our, in our storage right now. Um, and what I want to do is use this to make an advanced assembling machine because we'll be able to make higher tier circuits that are a lot cheaper than what we have right now um, once we have the MV assembling machine. But for that, we need two of them. So I have the things I need to make one more. Um, so I should, as long as I read everything right, yep, should be able to just throw this stuff in here and have my second tier three circuit. Um, I've also been processing up a bit more clay just because we're getting it a little bit low on aluminum. And then I have my blast furnace just running, um, just so that we can get a good amount more aluminum. And yeah, other than that, I didn't do too much between episodes. Uh, if we look at our polyethylene sheets, we are really getting up there. Um, so I'm glad I took out the sulfur, the sulfur export bus because I, I don't see us needing much more than what our current sulfur level can get us. Like we still have a ton to go through. Um, and we are producing oxygen faster than we're producing ethylene, so that, that's good to check. Um, but yeah, other than that, things are looking pretty good down here. No no major complaints. And we're good on power as well. We're completely backstuffed, which is good. Our magmatic dynamos, dynamos are getting a bit of a rest. Um, cool, so we got our second electronic processor array because we need two to make, uh, to make this advanced assembling machine. Um, I also went ahead and made a bunch of MV motors, so I don't see us having many issues there. Um, so to make this assembling machine, we're going to need another machine hole. And then we're going to need two of these conveyor modules, which I think they're easy enough to get. And then two of these robot arms as well, which I think we have everything. Uh, we need pistons though. So we need two of these pistons. It looks like we're out of... Um, aluminum rods, though. I feel like that keeps on happening. I guess aluminum rods are used a good amount. Um, they're used in pistons. They're also used in those robot arms. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff that we need. I think if I get like eight, that should be enough for what I'm trying to do. I hope so. Um, actually, you know, we already got the pistons we needed. So for the robot arms... Yep, we're good there. I'm glad we have enough processors. And then I think that's everything. Yes, it is. So we got our next assembling machine. This is always, the assembling machines are always the most complex, um, the most complex machine to build uh, of that tier. Cause that, that's what you need the high, the, like we're using processors for each one of the MV machines, but you need to use, so the processors are tier two uh, circuits. And then for the assembling machine, we need tier three. So, but now that we have this, we can make the, the next tier of circuits. Um, which I can demonstrate in a bit, but yeah. So with that, I, I am trying to work towards this refined circuit. So you can see on the little tooltip, it says this is the third and final tier one circuit. So that means it's the most efficient one to make. And you can tell that because it, it makes four at a time. So it's pretty much the same amount of stuff. Um, we just need to use transistors and then these central processing units, which is something that can be made with the, uh, cutting saw and precision engraver that we made last episode. Two now easy to make, and then these plastic circuit boards are the main thing that is preventing us. That, that's the one thing we don't have yet. Um, that we should be able to make pretty easily. It's just polyethylene sheets and copper foil, and then sulfuric acid, which we have a bunch of in our basement. Um, I'm not going to rush into this too quickly. I want to see if the quest book can actually guide us there, uh, <laughs> because I, I know it can. Um, but I have a couple more things bookmarked. I do want to get some annealed copper going. So I'm actually going to get a stack of that. Um, let's see. So we just need some oxygen. And then I think it's as easy as just, because we do have a fluid input hatch in here. I think it should be relatively easy. I do have aluminum dust going though. Um, and then I don't, I think this only, this only stores 16 buckets. Yeah, it does. Okay. So yeah, this should make 16 annealed copper and then 
Hmm, I wonder if we got a better fluid hatch if we could put more in. Um, oh wow, that moves quickly. But I'll I'll just make a bit for now, and then I can. Like, I guess I guess I could make two hundred yield copper. That that couldn't hurt, because um, I could just set up piping. You know what? Let's just do that. So I know I have 200, 200 ingots. So one twenty eight, and then another stack would be what one? No, oh, I can't do math like that. Okay, I'll just I'll just get more than I need, and then if we just get an ender fluid conduit. Um, cause yeah, if, if you kind of drop in the, uh, the fluid like that, it, it can only hold 16, but let's see. So if I just kind of extract this into here, okay. So that is filling up with oxygen and that'll just dump a bunch of copper in. And then we should basically end off with, um, 200 ingots of annealed copper. And we got our first ones right here, which is going to complete the quest. Um, that's kind of a a temporary little automation setup we have. Um, and that's going to lead us down the path of getting some of these, these new transistors. Um, wow, that's a, that's a lot of text right there. These, yeah, these are used a lot. So it's saying just make a ton of them. Um, I think they're a bit more efficient to make than the uh, current transistors we have. And then more importantly, they are like you, you have to use the SMD transistors for the more, the more complex build. Um, but yeah, we need liquid polyethylene and then also some gallium plates, which we don't have a ton of gallium, but uh, these transistors, you make 32 for one of these crafts. So that, that's really not too bad. Um, why don't we make one of these actually? That really shouldn't be too hard. I just need to get a bit of fine annealed copper wire. And then I do have gallium, right? I have tons of gallium. Let me, can I just smelt this like that? Nice. And then we have to turn that into plates, which I'm assuming we can just do with the compressor. Do, do, do. And then we're also going to need some polyethylene. So it was six to one, right? That's the ratio we're looking for. So if I have 16 of these, maybe I won't, maybe I won't use all of them. I'll do eight of them. And then I need 48 of the annealed copper wire. I think that should be good. Um, so if I have eight, that means I'm going to need 16 polyethylene sheets to turn into liquid. So I'll do that. This is our first time crafting with liquid polyethylene, uh, but this is definitely a lot more common as we progress further down. This is why I want to stock up so much is because they're very annoying to make and having to make them by hand would just take a really long time. So having that processing line down there and not really having to worry about Oh man, I only have 100 polyethylene left. Um, is is just really nice in this pack. Uh, so each craft, yeah, each craft takes two sheets worth, and we're gonna do eight crafts. So, and awesome, we have exactly 48 here. So if I go in here and drop off eight of these and 48 of these, and then wait for this polyethylene to finish, that should make us four stacks of transistors, which, which will definitely last a while. Um, cool. And we can, we can use transistors in place of, um, like for making the refined circuits, instead of using these basic transistors, we can use the new ones along with the new capacitors and resistors. Um, so that, that's definitely nice to have. Cool. Let's grab our polyethylene and throw it in here. Oh, that was the wrong tank. Oh, you know what? I think we need to use our new, uh, we need, we need the higher, uh, the higher voltage. Two, three, four. Cool. Yeah. So that takes, it takes 96 EU a tick. So we, we do need to use the medium voltage transistors. Awesome. Quest complete. Okay. This is what I wanted to see. So this, this opened up a lot of, a lot of new, uh, new quest rewards. I wanted to get to this pinal polyvinyl chloride eventually, because this is a different kind of plastic sheet. I guess this is called PVC. Like P when you think of PVC piping, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, these, these are the two plastics that are used a lot in this pack. Um, for this, we do need to make chlorine though. 
I kind of need to babysit this because when, when it's making 32 per craft, it definitely goes relatively quickly. Okay, so we can grab all of the stuff out of here. We're cooking up a ton of annealed copper as well. And I'm just going to drop this in our system for now. Um, let's see, what else? So we could probably make this SMD diode right now. Also some gallium, but we also need fine platinum wire and then some liquid polyethylene. Fine platinum wire. I don't think we've found platinum. Can we make platinum with Omnicoins? Whew, that's expensive. Um, are we sure we haven't found any platinum? Yeah, I think platinum is very rare, but I think it's okay to spend some, some Omnicoins. So we're going to need a couple quarters. We'll grab two of them. And then if I just do this, that's 32 platinum ore. And I'm going to put one aside for if we want to try and search for them in the overworld, we can do that. And then mm, I'm wondering if doubling it is the way to go here because because it's relatively expensive. That takes a while though. Um, I'll just make half of them right now because I am impatient. And and I think this should be this should go a long time. We we I don't think we need diodes that frequently. Um, so yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to make a few of the fine platinum wires. So we're trying to make the SMD diode right now. So yeah, we should be able to make a decent amount, um, with what we're doing here. And this is going to be made kind of the same way that we were making the, um, the transistors. So we just need some small gallium dust. There we go, like that. And how many crafts are we doing? So we're making 32 of the wires, so that should be eight, right? Eight of the small piles. And let's see, that'll be 16 more polyethylene sheets. Uh, let, yeah, let me fluid extract these because that takes a bit of time and I'll be right back when this is ready to go. All right, this is finished up. And I also uh, took the liberty of putting what we needed into this assembling machine. And yeah, this should get us not what we need. Oh, wow, it just takes a lot. It just takes a lot longer. Um, so yeah, this should get us similarly about four stacks of these SMD diodes, which that's a ton, actually. <laughs> I really don't think they're used that often. Let me see what the uses are here. Um, okay, they're, they're definitely used in, in a good amount of circuits, so... I think eventually we'll get through it, but it's nice. We won't have to think about them for a very long time. Um, but that's just, yeah, four, four Platinum Ore was able to make that many of the SMD diodes. Cool. So if we want to move forward um, with making the SMD resistors, we are going to need... Um, we're going to need some of this polyvinyl stuff. Or actually, no, S SMD resistors are fine, right? What's it saying it requires? Oh, it doesn't require anything. I can just make those right now. Well, I think I will. Um, so yeah, we need some carbon dust and then some fine electrum wire. So do we have carbon dust on us? We don't. What's an easy way for us to make that? Graphite ore, but that's only a chance of getting it. Let's see. Okay, I think center fusing charcoal dust. Oh yeah, that, that'll definitely be the best. Let me do a stack of that actually. So if I, if I make this charcoal dust and then centrifuge it, that should give me what I'm looking for. Uh, that'll give me a good amount of carbon. Let me do that real quick. All right, and that's finishing up and we can throw that in the centrifuge and yeah, that is very quick. Um, so yeah, I'll like everything else, I'll just do eight crafts of this. So I'll grab eight of these carbon and then we need a 32 electrum wire is what we're looking for. I think that was it, right? Um, man, those diodes are so much slower to make than the, uh, than the other ones. So I think the last one, the, uh, what is it? The capacitor? What are we, so we got transistors, diodes, resistors. Yeah. So there's one more that's a capacitor. And for that, I think we do need the polyvinyl chloride, um, <clears throat> which is something else we're probably going to want to make a bit of a 
a production line for, and it also uses ethylene, so I think we could probably just loop it in with our current production uh, down there. So, oh man, I forgot the poly uh, polyethylene sheets one more time, and it was two per, right? Oh no, it's actually one per, one, one per, uh, and be right back. And poof, we are done. Okay. Throw this in here. It is pretty easy to forget about the liquids in these crafts. That They always get a little bit, like, it's kind of hard to notice that. But we learn to, uh, we learn to notice it. Um, so that should be the quest complete for SMD resistors. Those are fairly simple. Okay, looks like the new quest didn't pop up, but that's because I think we need to get these polyvinyl chloride sheets. Um, if we search for it on JEI, so yeah, transistors are the last thing. No, we already made those. Uh, capacitors? Yeah, the capacitors need these thin uh, polyvinyl chloride sheets, which are made from these. Uh, so how we want to make that, it is really similar to polyethylene. Um, we just need vinyl chloride. So before we were just mixing ethylene and oxygen. Um, and now before we do that step, we're gonna to wanna to mix, mix ethylene and chlorine, and that'll give us the vinyl chlorine that we need, vinyl, the, the vinyl chloride that we need, and then we use that to make the polyvinyl chloride or the PVC liquid. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I, I don't think I'm gonna do that this episode though, however, just because that's a, that's a bit bigger of a project than I think we have the time for at this point. Um, so instead, what I want to do is get this chrome dust going. Something else I could probably do is is get these plastic circuit boards. I'm not really sure, like which I I know I know the quest is hidden somewhere up here, but I'm not sure where it is. Um, I don't know, but I think I want to make chrome and then some stainless steel because stainless steel is used for a lot of stuff, especially in the HV stage, which. We are slowly kind of making our way towards. I think before we fully dive into there, I want to do. I want to set up a good amount of automation upstairs with with interfaces and everything. Um, we we have all the polyethylene, so it, it should be relatively easy to make. Um, but yeah, so so chrome dust is pretty easy to get. Uh, I think it just in the quest book it says it comes from ruby, I believe. Um, we just have to electrolyze ruby dust, and we do have a good amount of rubies we have more ruby ore but th this should this should be suitable for what we're doing as of right now um but yeah we should get this from ruby dust here yeah so if we have a bit here should be able to throw it in there looks like we need the higher tier electrolyzer nice and i can throw this stuff away oh also now that i'm sidetracked okay we're still making this annealed copper Making our way through this. Wow, that's a lot. That's awesome. Do we get Omni Nickels? Must have not uh, unlocked the. Maybe maybe there isn't one for annealed copper. It is kind of a unique ingot, but we will be using that a decent amount. Um. Okay. Cool. We got our first Chrome. That's great. And that should be the quest complete, right? Great. So now that leads us into stainless steel. Okay, and that's where the distillation tower is. But stainless steel is also used in a lot of other things. Um, we will make this distillation tower soon, but I'm not in a huge rush for that. Uh, but for stainless steel, so we need stainless steel dust, and then I'm pretty sure that just gets put into a blast furnace to make stainless steel ingots. Uh, so yeah, it should be, should be simple enough. But this dust requires the chrome that we just made and this manganese dust. And I'm not really sure the best way to get manganese is. Okay, it looks like it says it comes from electrolyzing tantalite dust, pyrolusite, or spessartine. Um, I don't think I found any of those. Um, I was checking, the, the, like, I didn't read the quest book before the episode, but I was kind of checking in JEI the best way to find it, and those were the three things that I uh, was looking for. But tantalite ore isn't too expensive. So let me grab a stack of that. And then if I smelt it up, I should get a decent amount of dust. So I'll I'll do that for now. 
Um, I'm also going to want to get some more rubies going because we're, we're definitely going to want a good amount of this chrome dust. So I'll also do that after we finish our tantalite. And then we should be looking pretty good. The other things that we're going to need are, um, what was it? Uh, just some iron dust and then also a little bit of nickel dust, though not as much as iron. So that's easy enough to do. We already have a bunch of ingots. Um, just throw that in a macerator and let it go to town. But yeah, the stainless steel dust is made, yeah, six iron dust, one nickel dust, one of these chromes, and then one of these manganese things. Cool, let that go. And then we'll get some more rubies so we can get more chrome soon enough. Um, so with this tantalite dust, I believe, yeah, we just need to electrolyze it and that will give manganese tantalum, whatever that's used for. Ooh, that looks like some heavy duty stuff. Um, but yeah, so we should be able to just electrolyze that up and uh, it, it will take a bit of time though. Oh man, that uh, right here, that progress bar is moving slowly. So I'll, I'll, I'll let a little, ooh, excuse me. I'll let a bit of this craft up and then I'll be back once we have the materials we need to make stainless steel. Oh man, it, it, when I cut, I, I listened back to uh, the little like la 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 slip up I had. Oh, that, that's a funny sounding audio clip. Um, <laughs> I got way too excited about making this uh, this manganese dust. Uh, so I got one. That, that should be enough for now. It's not a ton. And then I'm assuming eventually we'll use this tantalum dust. Uh, yeah. And I also realized I probably should have saved one of the uh, tantalite ores, but that that's all right. I will, I will survive. Um, but yeah, so I, if we throw this dust into our system, and can we get one more? Yeah. We should be able to make a decent chunk of stainless steel dust. I think a couple sets of these. Yeah, we got 18. And then it's as simple as just popping this into the blast furnace and uh, letting it go to work. And will this prioritize the stainless steel or is it gonna still keep do copper? Let me take out the copper for now. Let's get at least one of the stainless steels um, and let this craft up. All right, and we got our first stainless steel ingot. And it looks like it's still doing stainless steel, so that's nice. I'll, I'll let that do the 18 that it has there, and then it can go back to doing the uh, the copper. But you can start to realize why it, we had that quest book uh, tell us to make more blast furnaces. It was a uh, right here, it's saying, hey, you're gonna want more than one blast furnace, and we're starting to see why, because, <clears throat> hey, we're making a ton of annealed copper, that's great, but it kind of puts my blast furnace out of commission for a solid... I don't know, 30 minutes? Like, this takes a while to craft up. And it, we can obviously do other things in the meantime, but uh, yeah, it's making a lot of copper. Cool, so we got our stainless steel. And we'll get some nickels for that, which is great. So yeah, this opened up the distillation tower quest, uh, which I, I'm not gonna jump into it super fast, just because I, I don't think it's necessary, but once we start processing oil, we are definitely going to want that. And we'll, we'll need to start processing oil eventually. And then we can also make a vertical digger to do some mining for us, which which could be nice. But I, I don't know if, if we really need it. I think we're going to use deep mob learning to get a lot of our common ores. So yeah, I'm not really sure how much we need that. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I'm actually going to wrap up the episode here. I, I, this might be a bit short of an episode, but I think it's a decent stopping point. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to get a bit more manganese and a bit more stainless steel just because, yeah, this, these plates, like it's used for all the HV components. So stainless steel is the aluminum of uh, high voltage. So we are definitely going to want to stock up on that a good amount and probably try to find a better way to get a decent supply of chrome and manganese. But until then, uh, there, there's no immediate rush for that because I think we're still pretty deep into MV. Not not trying to get out of there super quick. I, I don't want to rush this pack too much. I, I want to do my due diligence for making cool automations like this one down here and uh, and, and nice uh, applied energistics automation as well. But yeah, I think next episode we're going to try and set up the polyvinyl chloride sheets. So we basically just need to have some kind of chlorine production, which shouldn't be too hard. And then we'll, we, we, can, we can mix uh, the oxygen that we have uh, 
with the vinyl chloride that we make and then kind of split our ethanol or our ethylene 50 50 and make some polyvinyl sheets as well as uh, the polyethylene that we're already making should be a good project for next episode i'm looking forward to doing that and expanding our automation infrastructure down there a bit but for now this is going to do it so thank you for tuning in once again and i'll see you on the next one